Fuck that. that means I need to hit the record button. All right. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your Liberty Radio. It is Friday night, May 31st, 2024, and I, for one, am very glad to be seeing the month of May out the door. Uh, even though, of course, that means we have uh, a full month of the rainbow ahead of us. Beautiful, lovely, stunning, and brave rainbow people. But uh, I don't know. May's not been a lot of fun for me. I don't know. Your results may vary, Rob. Your results may vary, Yona. I have not had a pleasant month of May at all. I can say that I am highly aggro tonight. Uh, because, you know, May is uh, leaving like a lion, at least from the Liberty Radio studios. Lion, I gotta say, from my lion being the bitch locked uh, up in the back, of course. May has put the ooh in poop. I can't say May's been terrible to me, but, uh, you know, a lot of extra work at work. But it's actually uh, good to be involved in, you know, what's going on rather than watching everybody fail from a distance. <laughs> yeah, that's never much fun. I got to think Jude is going to be way more fucking awesome. But that's just me. Well, what what leads you to think that? Uh, got a lot of stuff planned in June. A lot of stuff be happening. June. I mean, God willing, I'm going to see Yona in person for the first time in June. That's right. Oh, that's right. Pork Fest wow. is in June, isn't it? That's right. Good Lord. I can't believe it. It's already here. Yeah. The, here. the month of May has flown by, even though it's been just absolute shit here in the Piney Woods of East Texas. Um <laughs> And know that when I say that, I, I mean it from the, the bottom of my cold black heart. Yeah. But yeah. For I, long, uh, I mean, it, we're right on the... At least it went the, quickly, right? Uh, I think it's called the, the Free State Project, right? Yep. Don't bother people. Don't take their shit. Anyway. Yeah. Simple stuff. Basic rule. Right, Rob? Yeah. I mean... Andrew Kaufman is uh, a big player in that. And uh, somebody was floating around a, t a tweet of his back pandemic time. I don't know if it was legit about him, uh, you know, rallying for the vaccine. I think I early know. on he did. If I remember correctly, was this from like 2020? Yeah, it was. I think it was 2021. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people like to remind you, take screenshots of your dumb fucking comments on social media and put them back after they've aged poorly. Well, I thought but, that's what social media was for. I mean, have we like become that like dumbed down as a population in this uh, stupid education system? That well, I, I mean, you. Coming. You venture out in the world, Rob. You interact with other human beings. What do you think? I mean, I can't say I have a whole lot of confidence when I'm on, you know, public transportation, taking like a train into the city. Philadelphia, it's uh, it's not always inspiring when you see people still to this day, like, you know, masked up or even double masked up. And just sitting there with those like dead eyes, just like in terror, listening to their music or whatever they're listening to, their their MSNBC replays, telling them to be afraid. I, I I'm still like wondering, like, what point does like the populace start to realize that the people that they um, keep uh, cheering for and electing into office just like aren't you know, really looking out for them. But I guess my, uh, my faith is, is, is wearing thin. I don't know. I, I can, uh, I can empathize with that. I can. Absolutely. I had to, uh, 
I had to talk to insurance people today, which is always like its own special level of hell, right? Because you get it's not like you can't have a normal conversation with these people. That's that's not how the game works at all. Like it has to you have to try and decipher what the fuck it is they're trying to do from the words that they're presenting to you. You know, on a base like logical level though, I mean, they're just looking for basic fucking questions, straight mm-hmm. answers, move on. Um yes and no. Hedging. Yes and no. Start hedging on your answers and then they're going to start asking more questions. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't have that problem, but that's because I know how to talk to them, you know, because I used to be one of them. I used to talk to these people like on an almost daily basis. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Yeah. Fortunately for me in my lifetime, I'm probably like just, you know, throwing the big jinx out there, but I've never had to like wait on insurance for any type of like payout. Um Lucky me, I guess. Oh, I'm not waiting on it. I'm just expecting it. Well, because again, you know. I I had a tree that fell on my house that wasn't from my property. Through yeah. you know, no fault of my own. So, so the neighbor who wouldn't cut his trees down, his tree fell. Is that the tree that fell on your house? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's enough to want to be a homicidal maniac. I, I, uh, well, yeah, I, yeah. I give you a lot of credit for uh, keeping your cool and just letting the whole insurance thing play out because it's like, hey, man, could you please uh, take care of your responsibility? No, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, um, speaking of uh, homicidal maniac, I got a special treat for you guys. Uh, I just finished uh, two videos, in fact. Both of them, uh, I used animation. Um, but one of them is Ooh, like... getting uh, fancy with it. Uh, well, you know, with the kids and everything, I like to make... Sometimes I like to make cartoon videos so they can watch it. And... Um, anywho... Uh, Are you so high is, you need glasses right now? Is that what's yeah, going on? Yeah, the, the light is really bright in my eyes coming off the lamp but if i you know if i put it down then it's too dark and the lighting doesn't look right and then you can't see the <laughs> shirt and anyways so did you sleep in that by the way no okay. no i keep this hanging on a coat hang blammo that's right um yeah i've got my white one on one but i don't think called... people can tell it's too dark i don't know why but it's called come on let's go um, but when I went to make the video, I found this killer ass video. So I added the audio from the video, but then I was like, well, now I got to remix the audio. Well, long story short, I got this, um, which I, I put the video up on the telegram for the, uh, Grand Theft World Liberty Radio Newsy channel. The one with uh, Liberace, cartoon Liberace there. Oh, okay. That Uh, was in the last couple hours, wasn't it? Yeah, it was at like six uh, something p.m. ish. Uh, Are you sure? But anyways, I I finally got around to uploading it on Rumble because I know like before I've just put videos up on Telegram and Telegram doesn't like Streamlabs. And the dislike is mutual. True. Um, yeah. They don't. They don't really fuck around with each other. But I, well, that's but good I though. That means on, like I can use it on the show tomorrow night because uh, apparently nobody has any requests this week. Well, I, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Like I've gotten like five requests so far, which I can't. I can't do a show with five requests. So. Oh, I. I'll, you people I'll need to get some, your asses in gear. I'll get some requests in for you. All right. Um, but, uh, I mean, I have some extra ones if, if I need them, but rather not. Yeah, that's it. All right. Let me go over here and then, oh, I'll just go over to Dick's worth to share this. Uh, there you Wait. go. 
Well, we got we got started. We had a, a running start this evening, ladies and gentlemen. But for those who might potentially be tuning in for the first time, this is how it works. Uh, open Lines is your chance to be a part of Liberty Radio and let us know what is on your mind tonight. Uh, this is your time to shine. It's not not about me. It is about Yona. Because uh, he called in, and it is also about Rob because he called in. Uh, but it's it's your turn to control the conversation, I guess. Also, what, kind of making up for lost time because uh, we got well, yeah, uh, we got, got cut off last of, night. Uh, abbreviated uh, show last night due to um, internet issues in the piney woods of east texas but yeah apparent, apparently we were uh praising the nation of north korea just a little bit too much last night and uh we got they pulled the plug on us they were like eh, nope you're done so that for I tonight that, anyway i think that's called uh when they pyong yank the plug yeah. anyway um, yeah you got pyong yank but here's how it works. If you want to call in, the link is in the Liberty Radio Newsy channel, as uh, Yona just mentioned, on Telegram. You hit that link and dial in, and uh, you don't have to turn on your camera if you don't want to, but you will need to turn on your microphone. We've been over this before. We can't hear you if you don't turn on your microphone. Like if, you, if you can't get that far, there's, I, I really, I just can't help you. So, uh, I, I sent you the link to that video, and it, if if you guys are up for it, we can get wired to the max. <laughs> wired to the max. Oh, yeah. That's right. I mean, I was trying to have a dance party here with my girlfriend before this whole Liberty Radio <laughs> throw down, but let's, let's keep it going. What do you got? Uh, it's called Come On, Let's Go. Yeah, but I don't know if I can play it so you guys can hear it. That's the problem. Uh, if you well, share it. Oh, that's right. Everybody can hear it. Yeah, but I don't think that's they, right. Well, because only the host doesn't have those yeah, powers. Because well, I was, I was, me and Rob were talking. Glad before the show got started and they did send out an update last night for OBS, but we never got to try it out because we got, we got the plug pulled because we were apparently saying bad words on the internet. Mm, do God I forbid. Have audio. Eh, why not? Why not? Yeah. Oh, oh wait. that's a good one, Mark. Oh, wait a second. I... Mark just submitted his request for tomorrow night. Oh, why? There we go. No commercials. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah? It's so new, it doesn't even have commercials. So let's see. Um, it, is it sharing? Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let me go over here and hit the little triangle thing. I think that makes it play. Wired in the max. <laughs> Can you hear the sound, Rob? Uh, <clears throat> wired in the max. All right. Two, three days. Red rooster. Bloody bucket. You know them kind of jokes. Wired in the max. Wired in the max. Those plugs is his stomping ground. You know? Wired in the max. Two, three days. days. I don't make it back to the top. Jerry and I used to get wired to them and have an alcove theater and watch a lot of horror movies. So we watched the wire game in for two, three days. Got ready to leave, man. I'm back and got that rogue roll out there, man. We were pulling up the three days. Well, then the cat comes wired to me, man. Yeah. 
suspicion. No, Two, three days. The killer could be impulsive. He liked to have a good time in the wire. Myra's brother, also a drummer for Jerry Lee. Well, after a show, he expected everybody to come to his room. Wire to the max. Either Two party days. there or you'd go out to a club somewhere. That was every time. Then you read him up. Wire to the max. Office in the so he could have a place to go to to the club. Go back to the stage. Cocaine. Be wired during the max. Like two or three days. Instead of me. Sounds like some shit you would have heard in some European club back in the yeah, 90s, you know. Wired 
Yeah, but that's all original music. So that's Jerry, all he goes out there and made up today by the Yona. A great show. Like it was right after you did the Rolls and Fire. He pulled a can of light and blew it up in his pocket and squirted the inside of the Yona. Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah, that's what he did. 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 That's it is hard to follow a burning piano. Or burning anything, really. <laughs> Let's see. Are oh, you hey, look at that. Oh. Are you smoking... <laughs> are you mixing crystal meth in with your weed, Jonah? Because you're a pretty prolific motherfucker, man. You're like putting out a song like every other day. Albums. Um, got well, like... well, well, uh, excuse me. That That's two songs in three hours. <laughs> and you're I, I got the other one, but the other one is a Canadian thing. Um, and I don't know, maybe later. Maybe working later. a couple jobs, multiple podcasts, multiple children. That's right. Like sleep like a half hour a day, right? <laughs> About four hours, but in two, you know, two stints. <laughs> two stints. Sounds like about two right. hour and a half and then two hour and a half. Because, you know, I, I set my alarm clock for 420 in the morning just so I can wake up and smoke at 420. And 420 you can do that is. twice a day because it's 420 a.m. and 420 p.m. Anyway. Only the Yona. Only the Yona would do that. Dedication to the weeds. The weeds yeah. are good to me, so I'm good to the weeds. You know what I'm saying? You call it, It's called hashtag pay it forward. What's on your mind tonight, Shelly? That's a loaded question. Of course it is. Have, <laughs> have you not noticed that that's what I do? Yeah. It's all right, Shelly. Facebook asks me the same thing whenever I log on. Hi, Yona. What's on your mind? And sometimes I'll type back, like I'm talking to the Facebook computer and I'll say, I don't feel like sharing Facebook. Fuck off. And that's my phone. There you go. When, when uh, <laughs> Windows first had the Cortana, when they, it like auto downloaded to all the, the. Yeah, that was creepy. I, I, I would tell, like every time I opened up my laptop, Cortana would start talking to me. I would always tell it to fuck off. It didn't work. So you said it didn't become your friends? No. <laughs> I I got rid of Cortana on this laptop. At least you can do it now. You couldn't do it when it first downloaded. No, Ooh. you won't be able to do it with the new AIs either. Oh, now it's going Once to go Once it's in there, it's in there. They, they have some new feature coming out that's going to basically take snapshots of everything you do throughout the day and summarize it in a nice, helpful little report for you. And if you're in a corporate environment, your management and uh, let people know exactly what it is you do every day. So I guess people who don't work are going to be really upset when AI takes the job away because they're not doing anything. Oh, you're talking about people who have jobs and don't work. I was yeah. gonna say, if people don't work, they ain't got to worry about it. Well, there's there's a whole lot of people out there with jobs stealing. Yeah, I mean, that, it would be so much easier if you just like record every time you're pounding one out and send it straight to your manager. I mean, I'm sure he wants to know about it. It's already bad enough that they track what you do off. Um, you know, when when you're not when you're off the clock. They, oh no, they could. Uh, Last few jobs I had, uh, they could actually track what you were doing while you were on the clock on the computer because they knew what you were supposed to be doing. And if you weren't logged well, into certain applications at certain times, they were like, well, uh, what are you doing? That makes sense. That makes sense because you're on the clock because you're on the job. But like, off I'm not trying to get fired, though. I always yeah. send a second email, Shelly, that says, whatever you do, do not open throger.mp4. <laughs> Yona. Well, anyway. what I'm saying is they still track what you do outside the job and like you can't even like have your own life off the off the job because they track what you do on social media and stuff like that you sit, step over line just one 
say one little thing the wrong way, like you lose your job. It's fucking insane. Well, I like I haven't worked in a really long time because of my back and shit, but like I don't think I'd be able to hold a job now. I, I've been holding a corporate job for like twenty five years and I don't go on social media anymore. It's just why? Yeah. Why bother? There's no reason to be on social media unless you, you're trying to market a business. That's the yeah, only yeah. reason to be on social media. So it's the only to reason. I'm trying to get to reach um I really went crazy on Twitter. I went through about eight different breeds of animal dumb as I was um, quite literally <laughs> shit posting. Um, but it was an educational thing. I was like, this is raccoon poop. This is possum poop. Don't get him confused. This is deer poop. This is buffalo shit. Anyway, you know. Literal shit posting. Literal. Shit post. Uh, what the fuck wait, else wait, did you expect? Technically, from wouldn't that have been scat posting? But mm-hmm. it was animal scat posting, more of a uh, tank. It's still scat. Because there was horse poop. I don't know. Unless you're putting it on somebody, I don't know if that really qualifies. I think you're, you're, you're reaching. You're reaching. <laughs> I, I mean, all I know is I was shit posting and educating at the same time. Well, I mean, that's how you should do it. Because the, the, the main point of it was to be able to recognize the bear shit. Because if you're in the woods and you see a big old hairy fucking bear turd, it's time to leave. You don't no, want to run. No, I've seen those pictures the last few weeks of bears hugging women and bears hugging men, and they look fine, Yona. There, I don't believe that whole bears are dangerous thing. They, they're they just big teddy bears. That's all they are. Man, I, I they just this, want a hug. I made this video for the remix of uh, the White Stripes uh, Seven Nation Army. Yeah. Uh, oh, and, yeah, and with the like, two bears fighting. It's like six minutes of these bears literally just beating the shit out of each other and biting the fuck out of each other and scratching each other up and then finally one just gets its ass kicked and I was just like, oh my god, you know, somebody should really just jump in the middle of those two bears and break them up. It's like living in a house with multiple cats. That's what they do. You know, get, get them to hug and kiss and make up, you know. Some human should have just jumped right in the middle there and stopped them giving him a hug or something, you know. Yeah, most of the time, though, it doesn't seem like cats are trying to kill each other. Like, these bears were trying to kill each other. I mean, everybody plays differently, you know? <laughs> I, I know, I had a few human, of those ex-girlfriends. If you would have added a human man, man, those two bears. Crazy shit that just seemed weird to us, but, you know. It's... It would have been, like, two bears, one cub. You know what I'm saying? Um, like there's this other video that I thought about using of this guy that lived with bears and you know he had his camera on the tripod and all of a sudden one day one of the bears just starts looking at him weird and comes over and just literally just about takes his head off in one fucking swipe um, and on you know the camera just got the view of him there then as the other bears all come in and they all just start eating them thank alive. god thank god i was caught on camera yeah i think they found like pieces of his remains in in scat scattered I'm, around the area yeah i'm so surprised <laughs> they found pieces yeah. like, i'm sorry i'm sorry like i i don't care how much experience you have like Eventually, you, bears you, are going to do what bears know. do. They're going to eat you, and you'll be poo. Anyway, you must know there's a risk going into nature, going into wildlife. Like there is a chance yeah. that you're going to get fucking devoured by something. That turns out, no matter the precautions, there's always going to be a chance. And Sometimes. it's not just bears either, as Shelley knows. There's the mountain the lions. And lions. And yeah, panthers. I mean, we got like coyotes around here and shit. Uh, Chupacabras. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, those are more down around here. Yeah. Yeah. Have- saying, you know, yeah. and they and they suck the blood right out of you. Ask six. 
We got the Jersey Devil up here. That moment. We have Sasquatch up here. My nephew and his one of his friends saw that uh, saw Bigfoot camping when they were kids. That that's Big, why you should always kids. take beef jerky when camping. You know, come up on a Sam Squatch, give him some fucking uh, beef jerky. He's good. We got the creepy dick tickler in parts unknown. Uh, I had a feeling you were going to be quiet. I was just about oh, to ask no. you to speak up. Shit. That's all good. I'll fix it. Can Can you turn six up to Spinal Tap eleven? Oh, I can turn myself up a little bit if it helps. Give it a shot. Get Let's turned. see what happens. Get yeah, turned. How about now? That's better. You sound, yeah. uh, you sound about just like everybody else. The last couple of times I've been on with you, you were really low. Yeah, it's weird because, like, I guess StreamYard adjusts my volume from the the unit that I'm using. Probably. Um, Can you turn it up just a little more? Oh, yeah. This is Streamlabs, by the way. Crank it up. Yeah. Try crank it up. We got game. Powered by Streamlabs, where everyone has the power except the host. Am I yeah. In, like fuzzy or anything? Uh, uh, still not fuzzy. Still just a little low. Shaved and you can roll a marble off of it. I'll throw. <laughs> I'll throw some gain on it. Yeah, yeah just try a sound check as the uh, Swedish more. chef there. Say, you know, some bork 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 bork. All right. How about that now? Boom. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm like maxing everything out. Got there a little bass go. in you now, too. You got check, plenty check, of headroom on my end. Okay. I've even got some gain on you, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, Just make bro, your you voice sound, silky uh, smooth. You sound wired to the max there, Six. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah, I'll just readjust like for the stream yard levels uh, for my stuff again later. It's no big deal. But um, yeah, I wanted to jump in the conversation because I just came across a startling article um, that I'm not sure how I could share with you guys. Uh, I might be able to drop it, Drizzle. In oh, your... you can screen share it, Six. You have the power like He-Man and Castle Grayskull. All right, <laughs> let's not get crazy now. How does one do that? <laughs> uh, Yona has the power. I don't have the power, so I can't instruct you, unfortunately. Oh. But if you send me a link uh, in Telegram, I should be able to bring it up and display it as an image. I just can't, I can't share out uh, audio to any of you guys for whatever reason. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just an article. So. Yeah, it's a problem. And Streamlabs knows it's a problem and they're supposed to fix it. It just hasn't happened yet as far as I know. Oh, they, they know it's a problem, and they acknowledged it. Yeah. Oh, I, I plastered that shit all over social media. Everybody knows. Yeah. I have the screen share option right at the bottom of my screen in the Screen Labs uh, window. Right next to the uh, microphone and video. Right next to the microphone. Yeah, there's really not much options in Stream Labs, is there? <laughs> I have four options. You can't really do much with like you can't really even mute. adjust the settings and stuff. My four options are mute the microphone, stop the video, screen share, or leave. Oh wow. Mine has five options. Over next to the red leaf thing is like a five leaf marijuana symbol for smoke more weed. Oh wow. <laughs> you must have gotten yours on four twenty then. I think that's the only day yeah. they offer that package. Yeah. And I downloaded it through Reddit. Yeah. Bam. Coding in his, his uh, spare time. One of those 20 uh, hours that he's awake. <laughs> yes. So, Yona, did we ever... Were we able to finish the discussion of the, the North Korean shit balloons last night? I don't think we were ever able to put a bow on it, were we? I mean, right where the shit was flying, right over my soul. Um, I mean, yeah, soul. Um, South Korea. Uh, it just... And the internet shit to bed. There's North Koreans sure know how to have a good time. But, but at least I got to shout out Dennis Rodman before it died. 
America's that's greatest pretty- diplomat and former Chicago Bull. That's probably what got you kicked off the internet. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you know, if you got a bull ring in your nostril and you're a king of rebounds and about six foot ten, what better way to unite the two Koreas as one? Um, but now South Korea sending balloons with K pop and then um North Korea sending balloons back with K plop. Um uh, yeah, I mean, but pick, I don't think they're gonna going on. on. Anyway, anyway, I do love some bulgogi. Which, uh, if you haven't had bulgogi, highly recommend the Korean bulgogi beef, where it's been marinated in the soy sauce for days. And that shit's really good. You got to mix it in with your kimchi, which is your fermented doughy. Um, chew rancid cabbage that's beef rancid yes, with like hot it up, it up float. <laughs> it's an acquired taste anyways um you know i'm something i'm young as hell anyways um, yeah it's the trick with beef you know if you can't eat it right away you just keep soaking it in salt until it's uh cured and you can eat that nasty shit for a long time afterwards am i the only one that Speaks Korean here, Hangul. Coming up, she not. I think you might be. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with yes. <laughs> I've eaten Korean, and sadly, uh, that's only counts for food. <laughs> I hope it wasn't dog. It's a popular. Me, me too. Yeah, I mean that's that would have been a sad one there. But I've had some friends that lived in Korea, and yeah, they they ate dog out there. I, I had to learn some Korean. I'm, I'm married to a Kim. Anyways. That makes sense. But Kim's her <laughs> first name, right? Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Things are about to get interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, now. Okay. That's better. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that, we went to the toll bench. It's kind of weird. Can you hear me? Well, Drizzle, I, that article I can. was sent to you on... Uh, to wow. Me. Well, this is the unit dozer. If you could pull it up on image. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, on I my end, it, it looks like OBS unit, Studio. Unit where unit I, anyway. <laughs> it says, and there's no events to display, unfortunately. It's sad. Am I, um, I have my, uh, scenes my uh, I guess. camera covered up with a sticker. Uh, no, I don't like removing it. So. Right. That's fine, Dozer. Can you hear everybody else? I can hear you just fine, Driz. Okay. Well, were you able to hear and six? I, uh, I heard I Yona. I hear Dozer because I need to add him. Um, no, I can't hear six. He's really quiet. I want to see him and hear him, and that's not working. And now everything is frozen, including you folks. Yeah, I can hear him kind of weird. Yeah, I can barely hear six. He's got like... Oh, by the way, Yuna Dozer. Huh. Say hello yeah. to your uh, kid brother, Killdozer. I'll be back. You know, I'll yeah. <laughs> All right. Six is it was drop supposed out to be a combination back, yeah, between the Unabomber and the I'm Killdozer. Uh, I think six bomb was having Dozer. issues. You got a Unabomber. Six is always place? having issues. <laughs> the fucking TMP, the, the fucking TMP channel keeps kicking me out. Kicking me and the most weird out. It's the it's weirdest fucking thing. Hmm. Yeah, and it's only the TMP channel that's doing it. Like, I like to get back to the TMP streams, I have to go to the AM Wake Up channel. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, Post Void actually, out. yeah, Post, Post Void actually screen recorded it because it's been happening to him too. But it's only the TMP channel. Wow. It's been a while TMP since I've been on, on the 24-7 stream, yeah. yeah. No, it's just a regular channel. Well, yeah, the, that's... that's During the live streams. Oh, like when they're doing a show, like, uh, yeah, like TMP Live, live and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like kicking kicking me and Post Void off the, like, just off the live stream. I always have the problem where it like it, the live stream will be up 
but it won't let me get in to watch it. Like I have to refresh it a few times before it actually no, lets it's just me see the stream. And then, and then I try to get back in and it won't let me back in. But then I can watch and go into the chat on the AM Wake Up channel where the TMP streams on the Wake Up when it streams on the AM Wake Up channel. Right. But not the TMP channel. That's but it's the same weird show. that it won't let you in on their channel. Yeah. It, it, no, it boots, boots me. Well, yeah. It kicks me out and then it won't let me back in. Mm hmm. Yeah, that they be some fuck shit going on around there. Ever it's since weird. they went to the double commercials, all kind of fuck shit be going on. That's go, the go, only channel. Go Rumble, anyway. It's it's the only Rumble channel I have experienced that with. It's it's been pretty much consistent for like weeks now. But, yeah, they yeah it's, it's, it's the only theirs. Because the new prisoners be you know muscle pumping. You got your uh, audio there, see? Okay, I believe. Hold on. Let me crank my shit again. All oh, right. I, I heard I him a little I bit. I should be coming in good. I might need a little assistance on Drizzle's end if he can boost me a bit. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit more. Yeah, give me a little bit of that. That volume, son. Woo. Woo, there it is. Yeah. All right. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, you sound like you're in the chat now. <laughs> Yay, I've made it. <laughs> I think I got it figured out, um, sort of. Well, I don't know what froze up my screen and all that other shit, and I don't know how to share things, and I'm still confused. But I have uh, at least a method where I can keep at least my input gain level on my interface the same and then just roll up the max gain on my preamp, and that helps. So, all right. But anywho... Um, yeah, any time that you want to go over that article, if possible. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. No, I have it pulled up because I think it's it's actually uh, fairly important. Let me just make well, sure that it's yeah the biggest thing we can see here. Oh, yeah. oh, it's like still not. Yeah, one more. I like that pun. Come on, works with the article. All right, we'll do it this way. Boom! There we go. So yeah, donate to Trump briefly outpaces boobs on Google Analytics. <laughs> yeah. Trump campaign says it raised $34.8 million. Are you shitting me? $35 million for a guilty conviction. And not even boobs could outpace donate to Trump after the 2024 presidential frontrunner was convicted on highly politicized fraud charges Thursday, according to a Google Analytics screenshot shared online. That's a hell of a sentence right there. I mean, Steven it's Drizzle, in it's boobs still wins. Because this all started because of Stormy Daniels and her gigantic boobs. So oh, yeah. Without boobs, none of this would have happened. So boobs still wins the day. I mean, they I may mean, have gotten knocked down to number two. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if it wasn't Stormy, it would have been somebody else, right? So but I, still, I don't it, think she can really still take credit. <laughs> you know, it could have been it any woman been with big hooters. Boobs. Yeah. It's just a case. It's, it's, it's a case. <laughs> It's a case of when your Epstein wife isn't good enough and you have to go seek out porn stars for, you know, satisfaction, I guess. I, I don't know. And there for a moment, folks, on the Google Analytics, Cheeto Horse overtook Boobs. Believe it or not. I mean, it's well, he cheated on every single one of his wives. So. I don't understand really? why a billionaire would get I mean, married. To be fair, aren't they all like mail order check rides and stuff? Like, uh, you know, Marla Maples the wasn't. The mail, it was like literally the, the, so, the check is a chick. Oh, the that's mail. right. I Ivana, forgot about Marla. Ivana, Tr Ivana Trump, I can't remember, but yeah, that's somewhere Eastern Europe. Uh, Marla Maples is, <laughs> is American, I think. Yeah, she's yeah, American. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was uh, she, I'm she, just she, trying she, to think of her accent because, like, you know, sometimes, like, 
He hooked up with her through his. He was like he owned like the Miss America pageant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she was a model, a uh, sports yeah. model. Like, Cause that's how he found. Um, what's her name? Swimsuit model. Um, but then uh, after from, uh, her Slovenia. was uh, after her, I'm pretty sure after her was directly after her was um. The fuck is her name? The one he's with now. Oh no, um, Melania. Yeah, Melania. Me- Melania. Yeah, melatonin or whatever. Who is also Six, a model? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six, your volume just jumped down to the beginning again. Yeah, yeah. Minneapolis. Uh, maybe because I. Well, Ivana was a model bit. too. But I was saying there, there is an American wife in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But they're all trafficked anyway. Mayla so. Marples or whatever her name is. I just don't understand why. I mean, I guess I do understand why it was getting so much attention. But, you know, again, me being able to see through the two-party duopoly illusion to know that there really is no choice. It's your only yeah. choice is boot. That's it. I, so, I know people. I know people that got all excited. I know people that got all excited because, you know, the TV tells them to hate Trump so much. I know people that that... got upset because he got convicted. Yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I remember watching the WWF when I was like 11 years old and realizing it was fake. And I I was, I kind of equate that to modern uh, day politics. Shelly, this feels real awkward, but, um, I hate to ask, but what the fuck happened with Trump? So uh, New York State has been trying to nail Trump for decades and decades and decades since like probably the 70s. Right. I do know it's been since the 80s because I grew up hearing about it and my, you know, like my my parents talking about it and like my mom and my uncle. They've always been going after Fred Trump's darling son. So he's he's a... He he's mobbed up. I mean, you don't get anywhere in fucking New York, New York City real estate without being knee deep in fucking mob. Right. Like, so he's a he's he's a fucking con man. He's he's get a shyster. Like, he's a shyster. Rich history of shady business practices. So New York City has been trying to nail him, and he's just uh-huh. he's always skated by, even though there's evidence of him being a fucking shithead. He's always skated by somehow. But what did they convict like, him for? I can't remember, but it it doesn't even matter what they convicted him on. The whole the whole entire election thing was just an excuse for them to finally get him like to finally you get know, him if, on get him on something. If it wasn't for the election stuff, they would still be get, going after him in the court system and still failing. As I, I did see on one newspaper when I was getting something at the store. Something about not that I've, not, uh, uh, not that I've ever used before. President but Trump Jesus first Christ. ever convicted of felonies, and I was like, count. "Felony charges? What the fuck?" Did Thirty-four go counts. Down Fifth Avenue with a yeah. gun and kill somebody? Like what happened? What? So did they have to make it thirty-four because 30, 33 would have been too obvious? Is that yeah, what it was? Too yeah. Yeah. So, so what charges was he convicted of then? The jury got overzealous. It was supposed to be 33. They couldn't agree. They all were like, fuck it. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Well, I mean, Rob, what, what, what was the charges over? Was it over Stormy Daniels? This is what I'm still struggling to understand, Yona. So thank I you for asking. I think it was asking. bribery charges. Well, it's... You're really low. You're really low, Six. Am I low? No, you're fine on yeah. my end. Maybe. I hmm. I mean, I, I can I can crank it a little bit more for you guys to hear me. Is that better? That's better. That's a little better. There we go. All right. Yeah, I can always reset that gain level later. But anywho, um, what I was going to say is, is that in that article, it goes over that he was found guilty on 34 different charges, right? But the 34 charges have something to do with how the fees that were paid out to these ladies. Um, and also Michael Cohen, it, it was how they were itemized. So I guess like they were put under a tab called legal expenses, 
which is what Trump's public argument is, is that, you know, this is legal because they were legal expenses. But it was alleged that these legal expenses were truly kept that way because he was trying to conceal these things, which is the essence of an NDA, right? Like you're trying yeah. to conceal something. It's a non-disclosure agreement, as far as I know. Right. right. So, I, I mean, he they're, they're saying that he violated 34 counts of that because of these payments, because of the way that they were itemized. Like that's that's what I get from it so far. That's all well, I've gotten from it. Doesn't the fact that his lawyer that was representing him in that particular instance, like, you know, started testifying against him. Doesn't that violate the uh, client lawyer confidentiality? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It was the judge's discretion to allow that to happen, that you had Michael Cohen on, who is uh, a known liar and uh, yeah. admitted criminal on to, you know, give a testimony. So one that would not be perceived as a reliable witness whatsoever. But, you know, in these circumstances, why the hell not? And that's that's the thing. Like, this is this is the same as, like, OJ trial, like murder trial type of shit, where it's just, it, it, it comes down to a bunch of subjective bullshit that's fed to people that show up for a trial. They deliberated apparently for nine and a half hours or something like that to come up with this garbage. Who knows what type of pressure was placed on these people? We really is supposed to assume that there was no pressure placed upon this jury like that they that they came in and like they're they're under no scrutiny whatsoever or no pressure you know from their community or other people from within their their communities to to vote a certain way on this whenever it came down to the verdict like i, I just know about this story man uh, six you know i open uh, up the bun and the heel and i see the ketchup and the mustard and the mayonnaise and the pickle and the tomato and the lettuce i even see a slice of cheese but there's no burger where's the fucking burger man it's fucking nothing burger man of all the things that you <laughs> could get trump on you're getting him on fucking accounting and like Bro, man. Process crimes and how and I, how you declared something, Yona. Like bro. that's what I'm talking about. Those type of fucking things and how I'm it's a federal you, offense. I don't even understand. But I'm telling you, this is something personal. A vendetta against Trump for yeah. decades. They've been trying to. They've been using the the, the federal stuff as a way to, um. Get you know, just get him on something. Well, I'm surprised like, they didn't try to get him on Rico. Like they, yeah. they try oh, to get everybody on Rico. They've tried. They have tried to get him on Rico charges in the past, and they can't nail him. They, this is the thing. They've been trying. They've been like really trying. Well, to find Jesus, how hard were on. they trying? Like it was. It was not a secret. That in the 80s and the 90s and even into the 2000s, if you wanted to get a real estate deal done in New York City, you had to go through DJT. There were no other it, options. Yeah, well, there's also like the whole mob thing. Like, there is, it's like the, the entire fucking New York State government is connected to the mob and they're all different factions and shit. So it's all mob info. Like, think about the Cuomos. You don't think that the Cuomos are are in the fucking mob? Of course they are. Yeah, exactly. How so how most can you say of all the to the mob. So it's like it's all fucking infighting. It's this family. It's all the fucking family fighting. How can you say it about Kathy Hockley? I mean, <laughs> I didn't say she, she was. Oh, any here. She's one of the lizard people. She is. Probably. Have you looked into those eyes? Do you know how amazing it is to be an Irish, you know, being Irish American and like having Joe Biden and Kathy Hochul fucking representing that? Well, it's it's ridiculous because I'm pretty sure like public opinion as an overall doesn't agree to any of the shit that's going on here or going on in Europe. And 
it's um, just the media just pretending that everybody who feels otherwise is some kind of horrible fucking bigoted person. And the uh, they look the other way when like their stupid like immigrant fucking mass migration causes a bunch of crime and rapes because they don't have any way to integrate people. Yeah. And but it wasn't Kathy Hochul the one that was talking about those poor kids in Harlem that don't know what a computer is. Yes. Yep. Fucking. She is. Yes. She's oh really my weird. My I mean, God. What, uh, uh, Shelley, oh what God. other kind of woman? I fucking hate this government. I fucking hate the state. What I other kind of her. woman, other than Governor Hochul, <laughs> literally takes her used tampons and yeah, puts them in the freezer so that she can then eat her frozen tampons like a fucking dessert <clears throat> treat. She's weird. Yeah, but, next, next but, but, yeah, but, but it's, it, it's, it's rough. been that way my whole fucking lifetime. And like, at what it's point, just, at what point do people work. fucking do something about it? Like, That's my question. The, the, vote, the, the vote obviously hasn't done anything obviously in not. at least fucking 40, 50 years. And it, what about all the of the fucking thing? War, war, war. That's the only industry we have left. Oh, wasn't the there like tens the of, of thousands of elderly New Yorkers that were killed by yeah. Cuomo in the nursing homes? Oh, Yona, know, that oh, was four years ago. War, that's war uh, under the bridge, Yona. Yeah. 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 That wasn't as bad as the sexual harassment. That's why he had to leave because of the crime <laughs> of sexuality. To yeah. quote Donald Rumsfeld. You can kill Granny, you just can't smack her ass. That, yep, you, bingo. And you, yeah. and, and, and you can't get in to see her before she's dead. Either. No, you can't do that, that either. No. You gotta look at her through a window until the nursing home people close the window on you. The curtain on the window. Well, yeah, it's I hashtag guilt. Really, I hope yeah, it's not bullshit really process crimes that, that tip off a civil war type of situation. Um. I've, that's that's one of the things that like I haven't caught a lot of the mainstream reactions on the right to this yet. It's been a busy day, but um, I know that people are probably out there like pounding their desks and, and calling for action. And and and, and I get that. Oh, they way. are on social media. Cernovich yeah. was calling it a nine eleven event. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's another October seventh. Yeah, the hyperbole never fucking end, do they? Plus Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Sons of bitches. But I got something here. It says, uh, this is the brave AI uh, bullshit that's uh, given us this answer here. And it says that, uh, that Trump was charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records. There's no explanation of how this falsification came to pass, though. Like, it just says that he's accused of doing this to conceal a $130,000 payment made to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Now, I mean, that how... sounds like Trump shit, though. Yeah, but how is... Why didn't they just make it a cool even 33? Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How in the fuck is an accounting um, process crime a fucking felony, as in, you know, armed robbery or rape or murder? I'm pretty sure I if I had... Felonies well... were like you know, murder and rape and armed robbery. Not, I I lied on these forms. Thing Come is, you on, know, man. you know, he'll never fucking see a day in in prison. Well, it says the charges all... against him were thirty four counts of falsifying business records in the first degree, which is a felony offense. And it says each count carries a maximum sentence of four years in prison. Wow. I'm sure he'll get an down records to like as a felony offense. That is a God. bullshit. Felonies are not supposed to be that. That's I hope that judge sentenced him to 130 years in prison. Either that or he's going to Club Fed. He's Falsifying a record is literally a misdemeanor type crime. I, I would mean, actually is... like to see him give his uh, uh, victory speech this uh, November from federal prison. Oh, my God. Like, oh that my would God, amuse me to so no awesome. end. You have no idea. Oh, my God. I like yeah. that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Clown, clown show aside, dude is not going to fucking... If he gets some kind of jail time sentence to him, he's going to be... Are you kidding me? Instant, 
instant appeal, I, I, and he's going to be I, I, out on bail. This is a killer and, business opportunity. He's still going to be in this clown show, and all the people who wanted him in jail are going to be ready to fucking burn the fucking country down when he gets elected in this fucking <laughs> fraud election that's coming up. I got to go back to Drizzle. I'd rather see Trump run the government from inside a prison and then bring in Congress and put them all in prison. They could operate the country from that place. I just want to see the whole country rise up and just go, you know, fucking 20 years strong. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that Trump be running a prison. Burn the place in the fucking ground. <laughs> yep. Either that's way, though, the right? only way we can start out. Like, that's the only way any of this gets fixed is starting all over again. From I want to know how the fuck they proved intent here. Like, if, if this was, like, I, I, I guess... I mean, I'm only guessing that they went through some sort of banking records, right? That were revealed to, you know, disclose this payment of sorts. And then they have a secret recording that was made. Real convenient, right? That they had a secret recording of Trump talking about this because he apparently gave the $130,000 payment to Michael Cohen. Again, the convicted perjuring criminal motherfucker, Michael Cohen. Like, so, uh, was this a setup to make, to do it wrong? Like, to create, like, an out for for certain people to, to exploit mm, someone? To exploit double jeopardy. Yeah. Well, didn't they, didn't the feds ransack Michael Cohen's uh, offices? Mm. And they found yeah. evidence of stuff that went beyond Trump, but they used Trump, I think they used Trump to find evidence on other stuff. Or vice versa. It was like, but I think they used, I think they used Trump, the federal Trump stuff to get evidence uh, from other stuff in, in his, his office. But I watched enough they, of that they... Piper against fucking Hulk Hogan to know what a fucking scam is. I think they got um, blackmail evidence. I got, I think they got some blackmail stuff from, from the raid and used that to blackmail him for the Trump trial. You mean his Russian dossier where prostitutes were pissing on him? Well, that's what no, uh, no, no, Cohen no, got about, sent to jail for, though. That's what Cohen got sent to jail Cohen. for, was lying about mm -hmm. a Russian business deal, it said. So that ties into the Russian boogeyman bullshit that's set up uh, where we're at with Ukraine and Russia right now, undoubtedly. Well, that's that's something um, to Are talk about. Are they still about. running with that? The, the fact that all these... Um, uh, NATO countries are all of a sudden deciding that it's all right to use, uh, you know, modern weapons inside of Russian territory it, as long as it, uh, you know, somehow. And didn't didn't Russia Russians. just say that if they do that, they'll exercise the nuclear option? Yeah. Like, they, go ahead. Go ahead. We got you, We got a trump card right here. Uh -huh. they, they, Pun intended. They tried, ding, ding. They try to take out one of their advanced radar systems that gives them up to like 30 minutes notice of incoming missiles or 20 minutes and it like cut it down to 15 minutes or something if that yeah. was taken out. It's uh, dangerous games these lunatics are playing with our fucking house money. I think it might be time to take it back. Oh, it's definitely time to take it back. It's past time to take it back. I mean, I, I said idiot. back during the eclipse, we're going to war. They're, they're, we didn't, not enough of us took the shot. That's what it is. I guess so. The agenda marches forward one way or another. We're going to get to their target number by 2030. Well, and with overwhelming <laughs> support. Because, like, the amount of support, the reason why I wanted to share that article is, you talk about all the time, Driz, is manufacturing of, of people's consent in the form of voting like this. The amount of people that this is going to involve now, the amount of people talking to me about this, random fucking people, people that shouldn't be talking to me about, about politics are talking to me about this. Like, and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive people to 
uh, go vote harder. It really is. They're, they're giving their money in droves. It's surpassing boobs on the internet. That's that's scary territory, folks. I mean, we're, we're disrupting wow. a, a sacred hierarchy. But I do have a, a little bit of an explanation of the sort of the legal theory, though, that went into this. Um, the the 34 felony counts of falsifying business records, it says in an article I sent to you from MSNBC, Drizzle, I sent it to your, to your DMs. Mm-hmm. It says it's, um, the prosecution had to prove that beyond a reasonable doubt that Trump, with the intent to defraud, made or caused to be made false entries in an enterprise's business records. And his intent to defraud included an intent to commit another crime or to aid or conceal the commission thereof. Now, what is the other crime that the prosecution said Trump intended to commit or to aid or conceal the commission of? According to the assistant district attorney, Joshua Steinglass, that would be New York election law section 17152, which, interference. which is conspiracy to promote or prevent election. Any two or more persons who conspire to promote or prevent the election of any person to a public office by unlawful means. So they nailed him on something where there had to be a secondary cause that somebody would have to interpret in order to apply this, the original law that they nailed him on, which is section 17152 as well. Wow, that's fucking shady as all fuck but yeah, it doesn't really like matter leverage point it doesn't really all i hear is ham sandwiches <laughs> yeah yeah fucking crazy ham, ham sandwiches. sandwiches here yeah swiss cheese and all pickle yeah the the federal aspect of this case is definitely an attack to get him to so he's not running in 2024 but the new york state aspect of this case is definitely a, a, a personal personal thing Personal vendetta. Well, I they don't. To I don't doubt that one. Yeah, it's a combination. Not but just like, deciding I, it, on it, his the intent. Feds, it, the feds and the state Listen. work together, hand in hand, because it's like the mob. The mob and the feds work together. I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. Well, yeah, since the nineteen thirties. Yeah, exactly. Well, but, but his into- his intent to c- to pr- promote or prevent an election like to commit a conspiracy. They're charging him with necessarily committing a conspiracy. That's the thing that makes me want to tear my fucking hair out and eat it because it's so insidious that the people committing a conspiracy are charging a person for committing a conspiracy. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's part of their whole ideological philosophy, isn't it? I accuse you of the thing that I do. And and how, I mean, how does one even come up with enough evidence in a case like this to say that he did have a conspiracy to promote or prevent an election? How, how do you prove intent, hmm. honestly? Yeah, did they just pass around a fucking mood ring? Did they show a bunch of like flashcards with different shapes on them and shit? <coughs> you know, I like the Rorschach test the best. You know, that's one of my New favorites. New York is the birthplace of the spiritual movement, so it's it's very, very possible that's how they do or it. Or Vosky. Yeah, I got a theory. I mean, it's all yeah. over the state. So, I mean, it's, it's probably how they did. I mean, New York State was the first state to pass law where you had to disclose if if a house is known to be haunted to people looking to buy wow. it. So it's, it's, it's spooky here. So there's probably a bit of woo going on in the background. <laughs> What's your theory? This whole, Dozer? this whole Trump trial just screams to the rest of the world that we become a third world country. Yep. And it, yeah. I think that's part of the, I think that's part of the reason that they're doing this. They're trying to lower the United States down to third world banana Republic status. Oh, we're already there. It's yeah. that, so that way the takeover of the U.S. can be complete because it can't be complete until you're a third world country. I mean, it's just a step in the direction. It needs to be rescued. 
in yes. order for it to be taken over, it needs to be rescued. So it can't be rescued if it's a strong country, so they have to destroy it from the inside out. Yeah, these are all good points. But well, it was it was State. always the destiny of the United States to be the phoenix that the one world government rises from the ashes of. Yep. So in order for that to happen, you have to burn it to the ground. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. To build it back better, tear it down first. Yeah. And that's, again, <laughs> these, are, these are not my words. These are the words of 33rd degree Freemason Manly P. Hall. Well, Drizzle, and you do I mean, it I believe bureaucracy. Albert Pike as well. You allow the system to strangle itself to death in, in the web of its own bullshit. Like, it, yeah. it, it states, it just just one little nugget that I wanted to drop off about this uh, this case, and then we can move on to something else, though, is that it, it says that the, even the Washington Post reviewed the New York State law and its reporting bureau, and as far back as 2000 for any relevant case law re regarding the this specific statute, that's section 17152. Now it says that the report found that two entries in which a judge, two, only two in all of New York State since fucking 2000, right? And those two entries were legal opinions on the statute. Uh, both were from Judge Juan Merchant last year in rejecting Trump's motions to have the case dismissed. That's how really, it says in the article, that's how rarely Section 17152 is prosecuted in New York. I mean, it's definite. The whole thing is definite fucking bullshit. It shouldn't shouldn't have happened in the first place. But it's a hell of a lot more complicated than just the just the whole election attack thing. It's almost like that when they changed the. I remember this from the uh, the Russia Gate bullshit when the CIA changed its rules on risk on whistleblowing and how whistleblowing was to be reported in order to submit um, the whistleblower quote unquote. Um, uh, rec not even recording, but like re recalling of a conversation in which Trump had with, I think at the time, Zelensky, right? Where it was um, the, the phone call about the aid to Ukraine, which started like the first Trump impeachment. Yeah. And um, then you Oh, couldn't... they classified it as like blackmail or something like that or a threat or some bullshit. Well, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, they tried hmm. to set it up where um, Trump was trying to uh, fuck with uh, Zelensky to go after Biden's son, and and trying to make it yeah. like that. Yeah, quote. and it was like, and it was like just. Yep, they used the term quid pro, quid pro quo over purpose. and over again. And then it yeah. was uh, Chiramella, whose name that you couldn't see, who worked for the CIA, who also worked for Biden, that was the whistleblower. Not a conflict of interest there at all, right? Well, then you had Biden, like, on video at the uh, CFR talking about how he was uh, doing pre <laughs> quid pro quo with uh, loan money to Ukraine if they uh, didn't fire the prosecutor that was investigating his son and the Burisma board. Son of a bitch. And son of a bitch. They uh, fired him. Mm-hmm. Put somebody Got a new guy in there with a mind right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Well, in the ties there, like I will say that um, as far as like a documentary about how all the different ties connect to one another, I watched this shit from The Blaze that they did a really good job on, I thought, where it connected Hunter to Kolomoisky, like this uh, mafia figure. That was uh, known to chop people's heads off with chainsaws. So I thought that was right. pretty fucking metal. Um, oh, that's fun. Yeah. And then it explained like all the different connections between Burisma and him and the government. Um, but yeah, it, it really kind of tied it together for me. And it made me think like the only reason why Hunter would be over there is to work with the State Department and the CIA to make sure that the revolution from 2014 on till what we're dealing with now went underway as planned. I just want to put a slight correction there. Kolonovsky was known for sawing people's heads off with the chainsaw. I think you said chopping. Like oh, yeah, you'd be sawing there. But, but yeah. he actually saws them. 
So, can, uh, can, yeah, I, can, I, can I tell a random one. story about uh, some Eastern European or some Russian mob connected people that I knew from Poland? Do it. Okay, so um, <laughs> my mom's best friend when I was a kid uh, took in this Polish family during uh, Perestroika because uh, um, Poland like just completely fell apart and there was a flood of uh, uh, like automatic firearms being you know just being flooded through Poland so they were in danger so they came here so they uh, my my mom's friends um, I guess they were like chat traveling through through New York and through the Northeast or whatever um, trying to find a safe place to stay so she it was out in the country out in the middle of fucking nowhere and like outside of Oneana and um, they stayed there for a while it, they were both university professors uh, in Poland but come to find out uh, so they finally moved into a, a, a new place and I guess um, her boyfriend from Poland had found her there, had found her here in the U.S. And there, there was some weird stuff going on there. But he was actually like Russian mob and the Russian mob had tracked them here to the U.S. And so they, they eventually moved down to New Orleans and... Um, while she was in the hospital giving birth to their third kid, because I was friends with her two kids, um, he, he committed suicide by catching himself on fire in the backseat of his car in front of the hospital while his wife was giving birth inside of the hospital. That was the official exp explanation of why he died. Uh, I think they were both poets. Uh, his their son was an artist. I, I, and a writer. Yeah. So, oh, and um, my that sounds like friend. a Boeing whistleblower type of suicide, right? Anyway. So he also used to carry. He was connected to the Russian mob. So, uh, the the husband, and um, so he he carried around this like, you know the, the ice, uh, the ice hooks. You you, you carry. They, uh, they have like the bar and then that has like the hook that you put through his finger and it's like that. He used to carry one around with him. Well, around that time, there was a serial killer that around the time that they they came over, there was serial kill there was serial killings that started in New York State and, involving one of the, the ice hooks. And they arrested somebody for it. But like the timing as far as like how when they were known to be in New York State in the killings, like we think they got the wrong guy. We think this guy was the actual serial serial killer, but it was like in the nineties. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't force your luck. You can't beat the yeah. Russian mob. I gotta ask. I gotta ask my sister what the name was, but um, yeah, that <laughs> I, I've had a crazy life. <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah. I feel that way sometimes, <laughs> though. I feel like I've had a crazy life. Yeah, that's just one story, though. That's <laughs> And this is the same friend that um, she worked at the Baptist camp I went to when I was a kid in Cooperstown. And one of the camp counselors it was this guy, Gary, from Australia. And uh, she eventually left her mm. from her husband. And moved to Australia for a few years to live with this guy that she met at camp. Hey, Shelly, do you know why Poland is uh, so full of keys? No. This is full of Polacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That was real bad. <laughs> That's a bad joke. That's oh, hey, bad. you know what? I learned. I actually learned something new this week. 
I was surprised. I did not I did not know that Zoom court was a thing. What? Zoom court. Like it's court, but you do it on Zoom. Oh wow. So you just like you just dial in. Yeah, I Was that, that for all for the victimless security. crimes? <laughs> no, I did I did that for social security. I had I had my uh social security hearings over Zoom. Wow. Yeah. Is that like got any pants on? But it's I also have to travel an hour to get to a social security office. And I don't have a car because I'm fucking disabled and can't work. Well yeah, so. but doesn't isn't court usually like in the, the place where you live? Like you don't have to travel an hour to get to court? It depends on what kind of court you're talking about. Well, the the story that what, i came across what that, for. yeah the story yeah. that i came across that that taught me about zoom court was a man who had a suspended driver's license was supposed to be in zoom court about his suspended driver's license and he he showed up on time but when he got there he asked him for just a couple of minutes uh so that he could park <laughs> yeah i got divorced over zoom so <laughs> oh wow that's fun that's uh that's always fun i guess it's better than getting divorced by text message <laughs> uh. you know, that, that, that's why master yoda was My... a terrible couples counselor because he would always tell the couples may divorce be with you anyway well, I know that they have the hand symbol things now that you can do to get, like, the emojis on the screen. So, I guess, like, in the divorce, like, how do you do, like, fist yourself as an emoji? But um, <laughs> on that note, though, I should probably sign off before I get into more trouble. But yeah. it's been a pleasure hanging with you guys. Well, thanks for joining us, Six. We appreciate it. It's been a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, talk to you all soon. I'm sorry. Yeah, I should give you a fist. Hey. May the fist be with you. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look forward to uh you know my subpoena for Zoom court uh about my my memes that I post on social media here in what probably about three or four months. That'll be fun. You think it, should I do like the whole thing with the matrix background and everything? Or should I just like uh, play it cool? I like I mean, the, the, trust me, the, uh, you'll know it when you're getting hit with multiple subpoenas. When you're playing the music and you got the background that's like cycling through your memes. Yeah. I mean, that's. But hold funny. up. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. It's just, I want to see this meme. That's but coming sure, out. they're funny. Look, look at this one. It's just funny. <laughs> Wow, well, no, it's so cool to go to Zoom court. And like, the judge is like, you're charged with operating a vehicle under the influence of drugs and, and possession of marijuana and paraphernalia. And how do you plead, uh, Mr. Hi Yona? Uh, um, <clears throat> I, I plead smoke more of the weeds. Your honor. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. Bro. <laughs> nice. But no, they've already set the precedent now with uh, <laughs> that dude that got put away for posting memes, you know, in the 2016 election. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that was crazy. So I have a feeling that we're going to see the evolution of that process. That was over crazy. the course of the next six months. Yeah, the, the craziest shit about that is it was just like, it was obviously a joke to anybody who has like three brain cells. But um, the fact that I, that could be argue, argued in court as something that would fool people in an election and therefore is election interference. Did you get like 10 years or some ridiculous bullshit like that? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I I'm convinced that this election season is going to be so fucking insanely over the top with yeah. just how obvious it's all set up that 
everybody's just gonna be like, what the fuck is this all for? Like, why? Well, you, you already know it's gonna be six months of fuckery. Because they're I having a lot the of people they're having the debates in June. Yeah, I but think a hello? lot more people are yeah, I think a lot more people are gonna start checking out from the system because of this election. Oh yeah. It, it's, it's a global. trend that's been increasing over time because there's been people checking out slowly but surely, and it really picked up pace when the whole debacle, the whole kerfuffle in Philadelphia, when Bernie sold all of his supporters down the fucking road, turned over all his delegates to Hillary, they then booed Hillary. So then all those delegates who shelled out all that money to travel there and get hotel rooms and everything, it was really expensive. And so, they're replaced by day paid <clears throat> day actors by the Hillary Clinton campaign to just stand in place of these delegates. <clears throat> and, you know, raw, raw Hillary. And, I mean, that was the beginning of a huge damn exit, hashtag dem exit. And then... The same thing happened with a bunch of Republicans when it came to Trump. They're like, we'll never vote for Trump. You know, like Lincoln Project and those other fucking yeah. jackoffs. And so there was a beginning of the Repub exit there. And now over time, both of them just continue to seem to be picking up steam and snowballing and more and more people checking out. So I, I have to agree with Shelly. It's going to be so over the top. It's going to just continue to pick up steam. More and more people completely disengaging from both of the fake-ass parties to the fake-ass political system with fake-ass elections. But anyway, it's all fake. So you're yeah, saying I, the, the Uniparty wins again? The Uniparty is I undefeated, man. I swear yeah. to God that I saw something like, yesterday or the day before the news about the rnc or just the republicans some republicans in in general saying that they'll they'll they're going to accept whatever election results come out so it's not it's not even going to be contested and you know it's just going to it's it's going to be so cartoonishly set up that well it's not it's, through it as somebody who's been in technology for 25 years, there is um, absolute 100% ways to secure an election for everyone of every race, creed, color, whatever the fuck you want to say, from the fucking safety of their own home, as long as they have a cell phone. And then you can even make provisions for people who don't have cell phones. But Rob, what's it going to take to get Poot Booty Fudge into presidency? Uh, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. He just got embarrassed by a CNN a anchor. I know, I know, but bro, he, he's like got all the. He's got, he's got the bone. It's all part of the. He's dude, it's I'm sorry. Play. I'm sorry. It's when when you're play. getting called out on national television by a fucking news reader, you are a not presidential. Yeah. No. Yeah, she really did dress down the rat boy. Damn it. Yeah, and that, I think that was the reason. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm gonna take off, you guys. All right, have a good one. Yeah, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say hello. I just wanted to see if it worked. I've never done anything like this, and I just it was successful. Thanks for letting let me in. Hey, don't yeah, forget man. to take a don't forget to take a shit on company Please. time, you to dozer. There you go. Yeah, it's quitting time. I got one minute, and I got to clock out later. <laughs> Later, Later Bob. Damn. Oh. On Liberty Radio. Oh, well, good on, thing on the man's run dime. In the bathroom on the last minute before you're supposed to clock out and then take the shift. It takes 10 minutes. And then you're like, sorry, man. I I, I couldn't clock no, out. I was time. wiping my ass, man. That's right. That's baller, man. They're like, bro, how'd you end up with like an hour of fucking overtime last week it's like well i worked five days and i'll wait to shit till the end of my shift that's the and, hour you know and right. so you're paying yeah. me to wipe my ass after i you know i sweated for you for eight hours the last 10 minutes is i'm sweating for me 
There you go. And you no, can not really. Wipe no. My ass. There you go. About fifty percent of that goes to the man in taxes for taking that shit. So don't pretend like it's all for you. Well, that you know that that's a good point, Rob. You, you even may your let it shits all out. get taxed. You you may let over. it all out, but there's still some of that that's withholding. There you go. <laughs> Overtime is like the government's time to shine and steal fucking more of your money than they do normally. Oh yeah. Government sees overtime, they start drooling. That does not negate the point. It's always best to shit on company time. I mean, it doesn't negate the point, no, but, you know, it is It is important to remember that there are contributions going to, to daddy government as well as to the porcelain goddess. Remind yourself of the tax on your poop, and the next time you go to take toilet paper, Tear out what you were going to take, then tear off the last two sections and set those back over to the side. That's for sure. I mean, Make that being said, Every public restroom has that big fucking industrial roll. It's like, you know, this fucking big. You take that home and you're good for at least a couple of weeks. Yeah, but usually the toilet paper that comes out of that is like three inches wide and it's so thin. That you have to waft it around your head where you go like, whoop, 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 you know, a couple of times. Because when you're walking <laughs> right. a ball, you don't want to go wiping with the toilet paper and it but, breaks right through the middle. Hold up. Nobody hold wants up, to hold use. Up. Right, Rob, are you telling me that the toilet paper rolls in the public bathrooms are like the ducks at the park? I can take them home. <laughs> I mean, if you're motivated enough, I'm sure you can. But Yona's got a point. The stuff, like, nobody wants to use toilet paper that you can see through. Yeah. So you got to freaking wad up so much. You know, you got to put, like, three, four wads together before you can't see through it anymore. And oh my God, my- there's no perforation. So you literally have to take two hands to fucking tear it, which means you got to tear it before you need it. Because good luck trying to tear it with two hands while you got to wipe your ass. I don't know how and, 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 at the same, and, are, but and at the man. same time, if you're a public toilet, you probably got to have a knife in your other hand just in case, you know, somebody tries some funny business. So it's, it's really some kind of gymnastics. Uh, well, when, when it's an area like that, I not only have my knife out, I make sure to pull out one of those toilet lid cover things, a, a toilet seat cover. Fuck. Yeah. I hate using those. It's so awkward. It's like a condom for your ass. Well, more it's like for the toilet, really. Pretty much. You're gonna end up getting you, your ass is gonna go in that toilet seat no matter what you think you're doing there. I mean, I don't know who you're fooling. Look, I I've literally straddled a toilet and shit standing up before because the toilet was too nasty. That's how it is in Europe. They don't even have toilet seats on. They have unisex toilets. And, uh, you know, I mean, they have a door that locks so you can go in there by yourself, but there's not even a toilet seat. You got to squat over that motherfucker if you're a woman. And if you're a man and you got to, you know, take a dump or a woman got to take a dump, you squat over that thing. If you're lucky, there's a handrail to keep you balanced. Oh, man, I, I'd be so mad if I walked into a toilet like that. I'd be leaving an upper decker. Fuck them. Fish it out. Exactly. Thank you, asshole. Well, well, that's that's the other thing. I'll the upper cigar decker. for you right in the ashtray, right on top. Fucker. Yeah, you, you, they, they have the uh, the uh, part of the toilet that you would put the upper decker in up near the ceiling, so you'd have to climb up there to do that. So you know, I, Because uh, I know that there are children listening. Kids, do not try that at home. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. Get it up there. That's just like the old fish in the back seat trick. You know about that one, Rob. The fish in the back seat trick. Now you gotta tell me. Like like yeah, Yeah. dude, like if you gotta it it worked better in the older cars that had the benches, you know. Oh man, you just toss it like just like all you need is like a little maybe two inch minnow. Doesn't have to be big. Toss that little fucker down in the floorboards, but do it in the morning when it's still cool, right? And then where it's got the windows rolled up and everything, 
all day long. That motherfucker gets in that car at like four o'clock, right? <laughs> Pops that fucking door open. Boom! The fucking that minnow just grew two fucking heavyweight punching fucking fists, man. Blam, blam, right in the face. Is that someone that did you wrong, or just some random dude who just man, it's like punching you so hard in the fucking nose that you spit blood and teeth? You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, that's what you gotta do, man. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> gotta do. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Look, you know, just a little two inch. Jack Mac or, uh, you know, a little Jack Mackerel or Minnow or something. Oh, it's, uh, all it takes, man, about four or five hours, that car gets up to an internal temperature of about 125 degrees. Yep. And all those um, omega-3 fatty acids just uh, sweat right out of that fucking fish. Into the air. Yeah. You got mm, it all wrong. Yum, 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 yum. If you're... Uh, <laughs> if you're... <laughs> Going out to lunch with somebody you work with, and you like take tell your leftovers. boss, tell your manager you really care. There you go. You, you take leftovers back with you, and you stick it under their seat, and let it cook in the car for like a couple of days. That's that's better than a minnow. Depends oh, on I, what it is, I think. I tell you, the best fucking thing of all. They spill, know it was you too. Spill down, like get like. Where you got the floorboard and it's got the like the little um, dust catchers for your feet, you know. Lift up underneath that, pour some Pepsi, some kind of sticky soda pop, and then and then put the mat back down on top of it. Let that shit cook inside a hundred twenty five degree car. Oh, that's an ant oh magnet. man, nothing worse than fucking cooked fucking Pepsi. Fucking metal kind note. Of soda pop. It just don't smells let... like ass and barf. Metal note. Don't let Yoda in my fucking car. When I'm out. <laughs> right? I'm like, God, yeah. what the fuck, Yoda? Two pop cans and a dead fish? What the fuck <laughs> did I do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> do you, do, do, you do that when you borrow people's cars? You'll learn to crack the windows next time, won't you? Let that motherfucker air out. Anyway. Or do you just do it for fun? You know, why not? The, you know, the shit high people do, man. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's an adventure. <laughs> like, I got so baked and I was at work and I went to the uh, dining room and, like, they moved the tables around. I hated it. Like every time I go to the bathroom, I gotta go all the way around these tables. So, um, you know, normally the manager's sitting in the dining room, but like every time he would get up and go outside or have a cigarette, I'd go over and I'd move another table back about a foot and a half. Slowly but surely, I got all the tables moved back, and then I had room to put the other table there. And now there's six tables on that side instead of five, and there's no longer a table in the middle blocking the path. The straight shot to the bathroom. And he never noticed. Really? <laughs> but eventually, I'm just now, I got to see how many days are going to go by until somebody noticed. Hey, did somebody move the tables? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. What if the next day you go back in, they've moved them back? Are you gonna put them back the yeah. way you want them? Yeah, but but I'll, I'll I'll make sure to wait until no one's there, and then you know because so I had to do it in four sessions last time. I don't know. Do I, we want I, to take bets on whether or not people notice? I don't know. We'll it's kind of what we were talking about earlier, right? Tomorrow's my last day. Like, are these week. people even smart enough to revolt? I don't think so. I don't think anybody's paying attention. Nobody's paying attention to anything. It's a really, it's a really fucking downtime for the pop culture uh, idiots. The Kardashians aren't popular anymore. Everybody hates them now. Not just us, but you know, the pop culture people hate them too. What about Kanye? Is Kanye still cool? I don't think so. 
Wow, so out of Kanye, Jesus, and Hitler, that only leaves Jesus as the cool one now. I guess so. Yeah. Well, yeah. we still got Jesus on the ticket. I don't yeah. know who Jesus is running, mate. I'm sure so. Ye's popularity will rebound when he uh, yeah. finally launches Ye Yeezy Porn. Is that, that what it's going to be called? Yeezy Porn? I don't know. That, that, sounds, that sounds like something that you get from a vending machine in Tokyo. It sounds like something you need penicillin to fucking cure. Right. Or, you know, I mean, that's for people that suffer from the sea syphilis, isn't it? <laughs> the sea syphilis. syphilis. Yeah. I only know one guy like that. He lives on a boat in Canada. That's right. I, I made him that. That's who I made the song for. Um, What's it called? Rink Rat Hoser. <laughs> Rink Rat Hoser. Rink Rat Hoser. It, Wait, that, who's that, that about? That's about Death to Tyrants. It, it's a song oh. that's just filled with Canadian slang. He lives on a boat? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's kind of baller. Do you, do you know what a gaunch is, Drizzle? No, I have He's no like, clue. What is it? Uh, gaunch is Canadian for um, underwear. He's like Troy McClure. Why did they need another word for underwear? Uh, well, in fact, they have three words for underwear. Gitch, gotch, and gaunch. Gitch, gotch, and gaunch. Is there any hoser. sort of reasoning behind this? You can tell a hoser because a hoser is a rink rat that wears a toque and he's all a boot to hockey. Anyway. I know toque. Yeah. I, I know like, that's like, a Canadian like what, word. what uh, Tim Pool wears. Right. Toque. Not like the fish. I thought, a, I thought it was a beanie. Yeah, a beanie. Well, yeah. A duke. It's a toque. But duke is Kanakistani. Yeah, yes. Kanakistani. I knew a Kanakistani. That's, that's how I know toque. Most Americans won't know what toque is unless they have encountered a Canadian. Specifically a Kanakistani. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. What are you tooking a boot? There we go. Fixed it. <coughs> Wouldn't Tim Pool get a little more street cred if he just shaved his bald ass head all the way and uh, took the fucking beanie off? Oh, apparently he did. You didn't see yeah. that picture that's been going around with uh, yeah. Alex Jones and Blair White and Tim's there in the background, doesn't have his beanie on. He's all fucking mm. bald. Ball, nah. fucking Jeff Bezos. Yeah, man. You haven't seen that picture, man? Come on, bro. He was a great injection in the, uh, <laughs> the fucking Wall Street uh, nonsense. Well, uh, Rob, I got this thing pulled up here. I, did I say it right? Yes, rink. Oh, where did that go? Hoser. Wow, I'm up uh -oh. to 115 followers. All right, camera four. Damn, every time I look down here, I got like three or four more followers. Oh, there it is. But they're, they're all the fake followers that want to help boost my profile and shit. But hey, they're followers anyways. Uh, I'll take them any way I can get. Um, Y'all ready for some uh, Kanukistani Canadian slang terms? I, I think, yeah. But just on that, uh, on that note, Yona, of those... Yeah. Uh, those bots out there that torment us. Yeah. I, I think they are supposed to be like some sort of, I don't know, sophomore type of demoralization campaign uh, to make us feel like we want to give up and stop doing what we're doing. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I, it just, um, just seems kind of weird to me. It's very weird. Like, why would anybody do that? Why would they waste their time doing that? Yeah. It doesn't make I any mean, sense. I don't give a fuck. And I, I mean, clearly are... don't give a fuck. And I mean, you know, maybe I should. Maybe I could. Maybe I would. But I don't. Because I don't give a fuck. It's a conscious choice. You see, I could promote. I could do all these things. But... 
So then I just smoke more of the weeds, man. It's my thing. It's what I do. I don't promote. I don't suck dick. I don't pay money to this, to that. I don't. Uh, but I have time. I don't even go on Twitter and promote my own fucking show or even put a fucking link, man. You it's know? true. He doesn't. He's never on Twitter. Let me tell you something. Which this is not is a bad much, thing. I don't give a fuck. All right. My homies say, hey, I'm going to rebroadcast your show. We're going to be restreaming, live streaming all at the same time. You know what I did? I got so high. <laughs> Passed the fuck out. Slept right through it. That's I, right. I, Story, woke up five hours up. later and did a show. And then woke up and did it at like five o'clock in the morning. Still had 12 people watching. Goddamn people, get a life. Fuck, man. <laughs> they, they subscribe and then they tune in. Like, a, 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 to be fair, they're on the other side of the planet. I mean, they're you know, like Kiwi friends and Aussie friends and Indonesian friends. Bangladeshi friends and people tuning in and all these different area codes and zip codes and time codes, Nate Dog. I'm telling you, man. It's fucking wild. It's fucking wild. All right, all right. Y'all ready for some Canuckistani? Let, let's smoke more of the weeds and, and do some Canadian shit. All right, get quick. us a strike right. on YouTube. Oh, I, I don't think it'll be a strike. Well, I don't know, maybe this is from the National Film Board of Canada that I stole the animation from. Oops. Oh, Canada. Rink rat choser. 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 Rink rat choser hitch, rink rat choser, 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 rink rat choser hitch, rink rat choser. Rink rat choser hitch, rink rat choser, 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 rink rat choser, rink rat choser, the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. Hey, by the boat. Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. What is that? Like an angry lumberjack or something? Rink rat, hey, you left your gunch on the deck. All pun, yeah. It's a wild Rick fucking Rick song. Rick yeah. Rick 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 really high. Hey, by the boat, eh? 
Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, is that Bob and Doug? Rick Rod, yes, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat, Rick Rod, hey, you left your gun, shot Rick Rod, hey, by the boat. Oh shit, did the flies eat Paul Bunyan? Yes. Oh, the killer that won't eat Bullwinkle. That's fucking Bullwinkle, man. Visit Canada if you want, but I'm going to warn you, there's a lot of flies up there. Justin's inspect control is wait, wait a minute, well, isn't, shouldn't Canada be burning right now? I think so. Yeah. Especially Alberta. I think it's like July. No, I'm pretty sure it was June, because remember they had the whole uh, Diablo advertising tie-in to the Canadian wildfires, remember? It was like early June. I, as a matter of fact, it was released on 6-6 last year. And it was all over, but they had wildfires in Manitoba, Alberta, and New Brunswick, and fucking Nova Scotia. Yeah. Man, but it turned out to be like uh, all, all started simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. Freak of nature. So how how uh, how long ago did you publish that to the Rumble channel? Uh, I published it like two minutes before I logged on the train. Oh, there it is. Hoser. There you go, you hosers. <laughs> Canadians. They're weird. What was your inspiration? Um, oh, it's because I had some Tim bits earlier today. Because we have a Tim Hortons here in Nashville. Really? Um, I, and I don't know why. Why is there a Tim Hortons in Ashland, Kentucky? They're colonizing. Yeah, clearly. There's a maple leaves there. everywhere. Well, we do have maple trees and red maples to boot. So there's a ten horns in South Jersey too. There's one over in Lindenwald, New Jersey, by the train station. Shit! Oh my God! Are there Tim Hortons in Texas? Fuck no. There's Bucky's. Yeah, yeah Bucky's owns one. Texas. Now, there is the Buckies in Kentucky. Yeah. The Kentucky Buckies is between Berea and Richmond off Interstate 75. Ah, Berea, Kentucky. I had a, I had a friend who uh, attended a semester of school in Berea, Kentucky. Berea College. Yeah. 
Uh, he was where my chemistry teacher got his degree, uh, Roy Long. He's the one that taught me about covalent bonding, valence numbers. That sounds uh, personal. Are you sure you want to share that? Yeah, you know, electron bonding um, with my uh, high school chemistry teacher. Thousand lashes with the wet noodle, Anselmo. It didn't happen in the uh, chemistry closet, did it? Actually, um, I think Mr. Long kept his trap phone up above the false ceiling panels there, just like uh, Walter White. You know what I'm saying? Because he had a little henchman that would come in, you know, that would have like barrels of chemicals outside and shit, you know. All the and he had an RV, man. What the fuck? All the beakers. Bro, him and Mr. Milby both, Mr. Long and Mr. Milby both always had the Hawaiian print. Fucking Buckaloo Boys, man. See, it's all of all, the, you know what I'm saying? I need a fucking cork board with little pins and fucking yarn strings. It's all fucking coming together, man, like a Richard Grove brain map. God you know. damn it. I think you got it all Earth, wrong. Bitch. I think I think they were manufacturing LSD. If there were, there's Hawaiian shirts around all the time. Maybe it's a possibility. Maybe they were, you know, franchising all kinds of different th- ideas. I haven't shared that last song with um, Dead Fella because I don't know what he would think about it. You know, I I, I can well, I already know what he would think. He'd be like, "What?" It's like there's too much vocals going on there. That's all like there's vocals on top of vocals, and it was a little excessive, yeah. Um, and I'm like, but that. I felt like I was in M- kind of the whole point. I kind of felt like I was in MK Ultra brainwashing session. A little bit, a uh, little yeah. bit, yeah. I was like, this, this is for some reason this is meant to embed Gaunch in my brain. That's right. I don't know. I don't know why, but I want to kill the neighbor right now. Um, <laughs> I it thought it was a, something it was underlying, a, but very infected to me. I, Seemed like an infective beat, but it was a good to beat. Be fair, yeah. my favorite one out of those two has to be the Liberace cartoon, though. The um, Wired to the Max. <laughs> oh, dude, that was crazy. Oh, that was, but that was about Jerry Lee Lewis, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wired to the Max for. Two or three days. <laughs> hey, everybody, wake up. I'm I've been there. Machine gun out that I got from Machine Gun Kelly. That's all right. And don't you know, he just sprayed up the sleeve with all them holes. Everybody woke up, though. <laughs> you think? I would have woken up. And then Chuck Berry had to follow him, and he didn't want Chuck Berry to go last. So he just lit, his, lit that pan on fire. Kind of hard to follow up a burning piano. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. I know what you're saying. Two I worked for a dude. morning, gentlemen. I worked for a dude in the Navy who uh, was stationed in Tennessee. And, uh, in the so Navy. Said he did, like, handyman work for uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and said the dude was, like, very eccentric. He ate, like, uh, those toaster strudel things or, like, his yeah. favorite thing to eat. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of understand that. They are tasty. Yeah, I like tasty. the ones with the strawberry stripe and the cream cheese. Pillsbury toaster strudel. Mmm. Poison. Tasty poison. Yeah, it's all fucking poison now. And hey, folks, remember to find out more, fuck around. I mean, the dude lived a pretty long time eating toaster strudels, so I guess they're not that bad for you. <laughs> well, that was also back when they weren't necessarily trying to kill everybody, or at least like half of everybody. Did you hear, though? We, we've actually gone up from 500 million to about 3 billion. About 3 billion of us can, can live on the planet at the same time now, Rob. So that's that's progress. Miracle. We're making progress. So we we'll have to get rid of like put up a new in a new revised Georgia Guidestones. What do you yeah, say? Yeah, they only have to get Georgia? rid of half of us now. 
I was gonna say sixty percent, but I mean, I was being generous. Yeah, well, yeah, I I don't think they're. I I think again they they overestimate the numbers to make everything seem bigger than it actually is because they have small dick syndrome. Keep fucking around, and a couple of nukes will fly. And I mean, to be a real quick fucking incineration. Everyone, please send more quarters to the Grim Reaper. He's at the claw machine now. We're all rooting for him. It's all I got, Drizzle. All right. Well, send in your request for uh, tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back on the air at 9 p.m. Eastern and playing your request from 10 to midnight. Good night, everybody.